Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I want to explain to you about the five journal that I get. The first journal, the title of the first journal is the impact of ICT in rural education, case study, and a good state. They write by Nathan David. Rural areas are geo geographically dispersed, and if educational programs for such rural areas are to provide equitable coverage, accessibility technological means must be considered. Indeed, there has to be an existing or proposed infrastructure that would enable these programs to be complete. This paper looks into the information and communication needs for the vast majority of rural areas in any state so as to build mechanisms to support ICD in order to increase the rate of development and economic growth. The paper shows the data collected from secondary schools in Enugu State why there is a pressing need to primarily finance ICD projects focusing on the needs, aspirations, capacities, and perspectives of the vast majority of people in rural areas. Choices for communication infrastructure are detailed. The second journal, uh, the title of the second journal is English Language Teaching in Rural Areas, Scenario uh, and Problems and Prospects in Context of Bangladesh. That read by Muhammad Mahroof Hussein. English is introduced here at the primary level and its inclusion continues till the tertiary level of education. Most of the students of the primary school in rural areas are weak in English <coughs> language due to lack of skills and trained teachers who are familiar to the modern methods and approaches of teaching and lack of materials for teaching in the classrooms. Primary level English curriculum implementation is essential in Bangladesh to achieve the set English language competency in the rural areas. Students in the rural areas are performing poorly in English compared to their urban counterparts. counterparts. Statistics show that there was a gulf of difference between the facilities enjoyed by rural schools and urban schools. The study explores the challenges of teaching English language in rural areas in context of Bangladesh. This study investigated the factors affecting students' performance in English language in rural areas. Data were collected using interviews, classroom observation, and questionnaires. The third journal, is, the title of the third journal is EFL Teachers' Reflection in Teaching English to EFL Students of Rural Areas. They are read by Jeffrey Ali Saiful and Sulis Triyono. Theoretical and empirical grounds suggest that the discussions on the practice of teaching English in rural areas are limited in numbers. Ergo, the voices, challenges, and recommendations echoed by EFL teachers of rural areas remain unexplored. This study is thus to shed light of the, on the voices, challenges, and recommendations of EFL rural teachers in teaching EFL to students of rural areas. This study used qualitative research method with multiple case study design. The participants were two EFL service teachers teaching English in Pugunuan Bintang in Papua and Talau Island in North Sulawesi, Indonesia. The data collection techniques were teaching, reflection writing journal and phone and WhatsApp call semi-structure interview. This study extended our knowledge that teacher-centered learning was not always perceived to be a left behind and infallible teaching approach. And the fourth journal is CAI and its application in rural junior English class that written by Xiao Jun He. Superiority in developing students listening speaking is a trap. This thesis explores how to provide a bet. In recent years, 
using multimedia is the direction of reform and mainstream in English teaching. Compared with the traditional English teaching, multimedia aided English teaching has its incomparable environment for English teaching in the rural junior high school with the aid of multimedia and find some ways to improve teaching efficiency. It based on research done at home and abroad on the application of multimedia and in English teaching and on the description of the current situation of rural English teaching in China. Analyzes how to apply multimedia in rural junior English teaching and then present some things to bear in mind when applying multimedia in teaching. The fifth journal is Issues and Challenges in Bringing ICT Enable Education to Rural India. That written by Dr. Sharada Ha De Deo. Three quarters of India's people re reside in rural areas and 30% are below the age of 50 years in their peak formative years of schooling. Nearly a third of rural India is still illiterate. The silver lining in that the enrollment and attendance ratios um, <coughs> in rural schools have registered improvement over the past six years. In this situation, I see the enabled education in rural areas can be an innovative option to fill this literacy gap and to upgrade the teaching learning process in the rural schools for tapping the huge rivers of human resources. The study explores this these challenges and suggest suitable strategies for enabling smooth implementation of ICTs in rural education for ensuring maximum impact and fuller utilization of sources. And next we come to the similarities of the journal. The study explores the challenges of teaching English language in rural areas. The goal of all of this journal was to improve an English in, and English performance to the students in rural areas. Superiority in developing students listening, speaking, etc. This study investigated the factors affecting students' performance in English language in rural areas. And next we come to the differences from the from the five journal that that I tell you. Each journal using different tools to get their goals. Such as there are journals that use apply multimedia in English teaching and then present some things to bear in mind when applying a method in English teaching in rural areas.